Good Monday morning, everybody. We begin this half hour with at least a dozen people killed in a dangerous storm system moving across the middle of the nation. 17 states are on high alert for at least the next couple of days. The system is driving damaging winds, heavy rains, and even tornadoes, touching down with deadly consequences. Around 5.30 p.m., the first reports that a tornado touched down in Quapaw, a small community in northeastern Oklahoma. The destruction widespread. There is so much debris. It's hard to even tell what was what. This was a strong tornado. The extent of the damage is an indication of just how powerful this tornado was. Residential and commercial buildings utterly destroyed, reduced to splinters, roofs lifted from structures still standing. Stunned residents walking through the debris, trying to make sense of it all. Another tornado on the ground in Upland, Nebraska. More funnel clouds reported in Iowa, Kansas, and Missouri. They're all part of a massive storm system that extends throughout Tornado Alley, from the Central Plains down to Texas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Mississippi. Heavy rain near Odessa, Missouri brought visibility down near zero, making driving virtually impossible. Strong winds along I-70 knocked a semi over on its side and damaged several homes. Golf ball sized hail pummeled Drasco, Arkansas and parts of Oklahoma. Cleanup was just getting started in North Carolina in the wake of an EF3 tornado this weekend. An 11 month old baby was killed, more than 200 homes destroyed. It broke my heart because I lost everything. Thank the Lord for not having me here because I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. And now they're hoping for the best and bracing for another round of violent storms. Just so much devastation. 11 deaths in Arkansas confirmed, yeah. one in Oklahoma confirmed, 25 injuries in Kansas confirmed. That's right. It, one death in Kansas, although that hasn't been linked to the tornadoes, tornadoes just yet. And I mean, the information is sprinkling in, so we may have more. There's oh, a lot of destruction out there, and there's no telling what's, when these tornadoes are going to end because now they're just moving east. We will be watching them. Absolutely. Well, a threat of severe weather far from over as these dangerous fronts move east. Our, continue, our coverage rather continues at AccuWeather with the latest from meteorologist Jim Dickey. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, John and Diana. We're entering the heart of severe weather season, and as such, we're going to see some dangerous thunderstorms once again here today after an active weekend. The area of low pressure responsible for all of that, more or less, will slowly crawl its way eastward, sparking off rounds of thunderstorms here, and the threat slowly shifting its way eastward. Also, some soaking rainfall from the northeast back in the upper Midwest and northern plains. In the upper Midwest, we could see some snow mixing in in spots as well. But as far as the thunderstorms are concerned, again, the threat shifts a bit further eastward here today through these early morning hours. Still some storms. Missouri, Arkansas, back on across Louisiana, shifting eastward through the day. Watch out in the Tennessee Valley. A threat for tornadoes once again, along with damaging winds and large hail. John Diana, back to you.